Hi, I'm Gina at Direct Digital and in this Direct Knowledge film we're going to look at some of the classic optical diffusion filters we have available. We'll show you what they do and why you might find them useful for your next production. Diffusion filters have been helping cinematographers create their look for generations, but now more than ever with sensors advancing we think they're a really good option for all production and camera sizes. These filters can be used for reducing blemishes and wrinkles on talent by reducing the resolution of the image. They can also be used for lifting contrast and also creating halation or glowing effects to specular light sources in a scene. Today we're going to test eight filters so you can see how each addresses one or more of those three things. Sandwiched between the glass of the classic Schneider soft filters are tiny lenslets that diffuse light while keeping the rest of the image sharp resulting in a subtle softening while staying in focus. They're really useful to diminish small wrinkles and blemishes. Obviously, there's none of those on this subject. And you can also add a soft glow to the highlights. Harrison diffusion will probably be most noticeable when there is a source in the shot or a bright highlight. They tend to flare the bright highlights and slightly degrade the blacks. If you want to keep your blacks, increase your exposure by one third of a stop. The Harrison black dot texture screens soften images without a whitish veil, even as the degree of diffusion increases. Black dots allow retention of contrast so there's no fuzzy look. They make retouching easy too. These filters require aperture compensation of approximately one stop, regardless of the degree of diffusion. Tiffin Ultra Contrast Filters help to open your shadows by using the ambient light surrounding the image area as well as the light in the actual image itself. They lower contrast uniformly throughout with little or no loss of sharpness within the scene, even when there are varying degrees of brightness. Shadow areas will reveal more detail but without any flare or halation from direct light sources or bright reflections. ProMist filters still continue to give today's cinematographer using modern cameras a beautiful and effective look, offering a timeless glow. Along with their darker version, Black ProMist, they remain in the minds of many cinematographers as the de facto fusion reference. Its unique layering of contrast combined with a gauzy paint-like halation function as a twist on the standard of the pro-halation spill effect. Even at its lowest density, it delivers an effective increase in the halation, which adds a pleasing depth of warmth, but is not transported to the skin tone values. These characteristics will become more apparent when you use densities of one quarter and above. In the heavier densities, the spill is quite aggressive from the practical light, with the warm tone becoming more apparent. Yet the subtle but effective look still continues to make the ProMist filter a staple filter for many cinematographers in the digital world. It is easy to see why the black ProMist have been such a success for over the past 30 or so years. They help to reduce the value of highlights while slightly lowering the overall contrast. This filter is especially useful for smoothing and softening facial wrinkles and other blemishes. While designed for use with movies, this filter can also be used for fashion and beauty applications. Unlike a traditional diffusion or soft focus filter, Pro Mist filters provide little loss of detail across the image. The one density provides a subtle amount of contrast and highlight reduction and allows for a soft, pastel-like quality of light. Warm Black Pro Mist filters combine the diffusion of the Black Pro Mist with an 812 warm filter, providing a general warmth to the image and for improving skin tones. This warming effect also helps to reduce blue sensitivity and for cutting through overly cool tones within the scene. The Soft FX filter can be applied to purposely reduce the appearance of blemishes and wrinkles in portraits or to apply a general soft focus effect while maintaining overall sharpness. An array of small lenses distributed within the surface of this filter smooths fine lines and textures which can be useful for creating a more flattering result of a subject. I hope you found that useful. All the looks from these filters are subjective and some cameras need them more than others but when used well, they can turn a mundane image into a spectacular one. If you'd like to discuss these or anything else for your next production, please get in touch.